It is time for a rave review. There is a new limited series on HBO Max that I'll be honest, I reluctantly watched. Okay? It's called Mayor of Easttown. I'll also say this quickly. When I first read it, I thought it said Mayor of Easton because you know how I love Downton Abbey? And it's not Downtown Abbey, it's Downton Abbey. And I keep calling this Mayor of Easton. So if I do that, I am so sorry. It's in my brain. So I apologize. But it's Mayor of Easttown. And Mayor is M A R E, not like a mayor of a town. Anyway, I'll get to her name in a minute. It stars Kate Winslet. And here's the thing I had heard people talking about the show. I saw the trailer and I was like, this is too depressing. It seems violent. It seems dark. It seems like something I would not like to watch. So I heard these people talking about how great it was on the radio. Then on Monday, not kidding you, Monday, our producer Gage comes in and Gage says, Have you been watching Mayor of Easttown? And I said, No, it looks too depressing and dark and sad. He goes, It kind of is. He goes, But it is amazing. It will keep you guessing. It is suspenseful. There are twists and turns. So, you know, what I did Monday. I went home Monday, got through five, no, four of the seven episodes. I finished the other three yesterday. Guys, I am so glad I watched this show. It is creepily amazing. Take a look at the trailer. I want to thank everyone for joining us to celebrate the proudest moment in East Town Sports history. And finally, Miss Lady Hawk herself, Mayor Sheehan! See this yet? Be right up in the Tribune. I'm gonna frame it hanging hang it up in your office. Yeah, please do. Yeah. My daughter's been missing for exactly one year, and the police aren't doing anything. What's your mother doing? She's being the hero. <laughs> yeah. Walla House is my ex-husband to move into. He has to buy the one right behind mine. Well, I heard he got a really good deal on it. <laughs> hey. The East Town Police Department received a call reporting a dead body in Creedum Creek. We've decided to bring in a county detective to assist with the case. How do you like working with my mom so far? We're just getting started out. Any tips? Lower your expectations. Should we do this outside? No. All right. Let's go. Hey, hey, whoa, whoa, whoa. Mayor, what's what's happening? Do? She just knows what's, what's happening, on, Tony. Okay? She knows. Yeah, All right, let me go. Are you friends with these people? Yeah. Why do they call you Lady Hawk? I made a shot in a basketball game. Must have been some shot. Around here, yeah. The terrible events of this past year have ravaged this community. Yeah, who did this? Because if you don't, I'll kill him myself. I can feel it. This expectation from people to be something I don't think I'm good enough to be. I think you're a hero. Phil, I'm a fool. You're a lot of things I don't like, but you're not a fool. It might be a good thing to step away. I know what you've been through, and I know you're worth saving. Recommit yourself. I'm gonna find out everything. Everything. Guys, I have goosebumps watching the trailer, and I was watching that, just some of the scenes going, oh my gosh. I'll tell you this, too. Watching episode five, my heart was pounding, and then somebody called me, and it startled me so bad, I dropped my phone because I was not, I was into the episode. All star cast, Kate Winslet, Gene Smart, who's had this renaissance of a career. Uh, you re I reviewed Hacks, which is another show of hers about being a comedian last week. Gene Smart is everywhere. Love her. Guy Pierce. Evan Peters, Julianne Nicholson, and David Denman, who you might remember as Roy on The Office. When he came on, I was like, oh my gosh, I love him. By the way, too, they have the most amazing, crazy accents on this show. That's like that Northern Pennsylvania, Baltimore, Maryland area. The only reason I know is because John Travolta used the same accent when he was in uh, Hairspray. And he, they say words like, I need to go home. And I'm like, what accent is this? But I tell you what. As many times as Kate Winslet says home, 
you could do a drinking game and you'd be dead because it, she says home. I need to go home. It's the craziest accent, like a northern, nothing like I've heard before except for John Travolta. Um, it's so good, it will have you guessing the entire time. It's very adult. There are adult situations dealing with kind of depressing subject matters, in depth character development, which I liked. Crazy names, by the way, Mayor, okay? So I, I kept thinking, I've never heard the name Mayor as a woman's name. At the, I think it's the, the last episode, her mother, Jean Smart's character, calls her Marion. So I think Mayor is short for Marion. Don't quote me on that. I have no proof, but that's what I think, because they kind of talk fast, too, in the show, and I had to actually uh, rewind sometimes to, to catch what they were saying, because their northern accent is to whom. I, hey, guys, I hope you're watching from whom. It's, it's so weird. Your ocean, your home. It's very strange. Uh, it's a very good show. Please watch it. Tell me what you think. It's really good. Okay, I do want to move on because guess what's on tonight, guys? There's a brand new crime scene kitchen tonight. Now, here's our favorites right here for the Missouri gals. I watched my screener of tonight's episode. So I've already seen tonight's episode. And of, I'm so sorry the ladies are not in tonight's episode because they're in group B. But I wanted to pull some clips because I was reading online comments and everybody online loves them. They want them to get their own show. I cannot tell you how much, it, it's Rebecca and Jean. Uh, by the way, too, side note, tonight's episode, I did not guess correctly either of the desserts. I can't say what they are, but I'm just saying I didn't guess. Anyway, I just love these ladies so much. I'm gonna try to get them on the show because they're amazing. Here are just, let's take a look at the first clip of them just being them. Okay, there's powdered sugar and there's some sort of chocolate decoration. There's dark chocolate. What would you drizzle chocolate on? Looking around the crime scene kitchen, there's a bowl of chocolate. That could be anything. Chocolate cake, chocolate donuts, chocolate macaron. <laughs> I've been the entire nation of France. Macaron, <laughs> chocolate, macaron. <laughs> Macaron, macaron. Oh my gosh, Jean is amazing. Um, they're, they're so funny and they, I can't figure out their relationship. I know they work together. I don't know if they're related. I need to do a deeper dive on their relationship. But they also drive each other nuts, especially Rebecca. Rebecca thinks that Jean is trying to kill her. Take a look at this. You're not going to have enough to fill those all up. It's going to take us another 30 minutes to make a cake mixture. You're great at telling me what's wrong. Tell me what to do. She's a chatty Cathy. <laughs> Pull the string and you're rah, 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 rah. Are you getting irritated? Yes? No? You're irritating me because you're not saying anything. I just wanted to say, shut up. <sighs> I mean, you, I'm going to die. You won't even have anyone to win with or anyone to run a business with because you're going to kill me. <gasps> Y'all, the stress is real on this show. So, by the way, Rebecca and Jean have a pie shop in Columbia, Missouri, um, uh, Peggy Jean's Pies, okay? I looked that up this morning, Peggy Jean's Pies. I went to their website, they have one location, and it says coming fall of 2021, a second location in Columbia, they must be doing well. They are hilarious, so they're not in tonight's episode, guys, but they are on uh, next week, and the majority of the comments are, keep them around, we don't want them to leave, they're too funny, and I'm gonna reach out because I thought they have a pie shop, if we're going to do a pie week, we need to have the pie ladies, Peggy Jean's Pies from Columbia, are, that's local enough, right here on the show. You can check out Crime Scene Kitchen, all new episode. It's really good tonight. And by the way, here's a hint. If you watch yesterday's show, you have a hint about tonight's show. <laughs> Don't go anywhere. So much more fun on Ozarks Fox AM right after this. Man, now I'm craving pie, TJ. Any pie, anyone?